Hey everyone, in this video I'll show you how to set up the Cade encoder for use with trackballs and mice. And we'll run through testing with various arcade hardware like this HAP trackball, SparkFun PS2 trackball, and a basic PS2 mouse. These devices interface with Cade via a PS2 connection. For testing, I've wired a PS2 extension cable using the pinout shown. The extension cable has a female plug for easy connection of the PS2 peripherals. There's also support for USB devices which are backwards compatible. Trackball setup is done in the Cade Loader software. Currently trackball support is provided on PlayStation 3 Xbox and a USB HID joystick encoder. We'll do some testing on Xbox. A new option has been added to the settings menu under peripherals, configure trackball spinner and mouse. In here you select which type of device you have connected and that determines the settings which are displayed below. You can modify the settings to adjust the responsiveness of the device. We can now customise our mapping to enable the trackball. The option connect trackball to pins A3 and A7 is ticked. This reserves two pins on the CADE, clock line and data line as per the previous pinouts. We can now assign inputs. So movement of the trackball or mouse is reflected in left or right analogue stick movements. And we can assign up to three functions for devices which have buttons. A mouse, for instance, may have a left click, a right click, and a scroll wheel click. We can assign a function to each of those clicks. Now we click OK and save our mapping changes. You can see the mapping table has been updated to show the reserved clock and data lines. Kid is now programmed and we're ready to test devices. Right click and scroll up click. 